Whether you're a unique house enthusiast or a free spirit looking for a rare travel experience, these cave properties are going to blow your mind. Stick around and see how fine dining and opulent suites turn rock formations into the height of luxury. If you're looking to stay in a five-star hotel while also dabbling in spelunking, then the Beckham Creek Cave Lodge is for you. This beautiful house was carved out of a natural cavern in the Ozark Mountains, and it looks like an upgraded dystopian movie set. The space was originally a fallout shelter during the Cold War. It took four years and $2 million to build. When the war ended, it was sold to the current owner and renovated into a hotel in 2014. The four-bedroom, four-bath home is furnished in a modern industrial style using natural wood and metal materials, but the building was designed with respect to the rock formations inside. Every room is unique with natural cave walls and features. These include stalagmites by the sink in the bathroom and a Spanish piano waterfall in the living room. There's even a honeymoon suite that covers the entire top floor. It comes with its own seating area, mini bar, king-size bed, and a bathroom custom built into the limestone. Water for the property comes from the 1.5 mile interior of the cave. It collects into a holding tank with a purifier. Any excess water runs under the floor out to a seasonal waterfall down the mountain. For modern comforts, the house comes equipped with Wi-Fi, a 72-inch smart TV with satellite, a laundry room, and a full gourmet kitchen. It's outfitted with a double oven, a custom extra-large fridge, a six-burner gas range, a dishwasher, granite countertops, a serving and wet bar with ice maker, and a wine chiller. No need to bring any tools. This place is stocked with utensils, plates, a Keurig, and complimentary K-cups. Clearly, the ideal customer likes to cook. Be aware, you must bring your own food and drinks, but there is an option to hire a chef. You can eat and drink at the unique dining table underneath the chandelier. There's a custom-made deck with views of limestone cliffs and the helipad. Nature enthusiasts will also be impressed with the hiking trails on the 256-acre property. They show rock outcroppings, springs, waterfalls, wildflowers, and wildlife. Booking is open for 2023. For 2200 a night, you can rest your head in a natural wonder. The Enchanted Cave in New South Wales, Australia is a perfect place for a romantic getaway or a Lord of the Rings fantasy vacation. That last part sounds strange until you see the custom circular door that looks straight out of Hobbiton. This quaint cottage-looking room is built into the Blue Mountains of Australia on a natural rock platform. It has natural stone walls and sweeping views of the surrounding valley. The design is bright, with the entire mouth of the cave sealed with picture windows. Figures and natural symbols made up of local rock add a touch of history to the ceiling of the suite. A unique feature of the property is the lover's seat. As the name suggests, it's a love seat completely carved out of the natural bedrock. We're not sure how comfortable of a stone couch it is, but it's polished and smooth with pillows to provide a lounge area. Amenities include a queen bed, a modern kitchenette with a gas range and oven, and a modern slow combustion fireplace. There's also a TV hidden behind a rolling stone door. For ultimate relaxation, a spa bath carved from sunstone is embedded in the floor of the end suite bathroom. And for a touch of excitement, the shower is outside on the deck so you can bathe with the birds. The space goes for 881 Australian dollars per night. It has a maximum occupancy of two people with one bedroom and one bathroom. It's the perfect amount of plush and primitive for an unforgettable honeymoon. Cave architecture may be the next big thing in hospitality and tourism, but it definitely found fame as villain layers in movies. In fact, that was actually the inspiration behind the design of the PNN White Mountain offices. It's an office building 100 feet below Vitaberg Park in Stockholm, Sweden. Apparently, fallout shelters make good bones for modern architecture. The space started as a nuclear shelter during the Cold War. Then, in 2007, construction began to renovate the bunker into an office space. The Reno added an additional 140,000 cubic feet of space. It also transformed it into one of the most secure data centers in the world. The office is protected by a 40 centimeter thick steel blast door, and its servers are backed up on generators made from repurposed submarine engines. Both extremely vital features when the going rate for an attack on a data center is $4 million. Because the office is built into an underground cave, the design is unique in looks and features. Bunhoff owns and operates the facility. They're Sweden's biggest internet providers, and the style fits the tech theme, all glass and steel. 
It has an artificial day and night cycle to save employees from the casino effect. The conference room is encased in glass and suspended above the server hall, completing the Bond aesthetic. It's also brimming with greenhouse plants, waterfalls, and has a 2600 liter fish tank. They add a certain hominess to a building that never sees the sun. It's clear the architect wasn't kidding when he said he was inspired by science fiction. The result is a unique workspace that does security with style. Rest assured, Pionin is well protected from nuclear war and any Mr. Robot level DDoS attacks. Rural England definitely has a signature style of cottage style homes with rolling fields, but hidden in three acres of private woodland sits a beautiful hotel carved out of Triassic sandstone. The Rock House Retreat is actually an ancient abode, excavated out of the Paleolithic cave. The cave itself is over 700 years old, but the stone it's made of was millions of years in the making. But this is no prehistoric cave dwelling. The space has been updated to a four-room luxury cavern. It's a little hard to spot if you don't know where to look. It's surrounded by forest and perfectly blends into the natural rock formations that is carved out of. If you're looking to escape, it's the perfect place. The rock house leans to the side of Cozy at only 700 square feet. It's one bedroom, one bathroom, with a maximum occupancy of two. But don't let the size downplay the beauty of this hidden gem. The design is simple and rustic, with whitewashed walls and ambient lighting. The furniture is all handmade, and the floor tiles are thick and rustic. Visitors can cook during their stay in the bespoke wooden kitchen with a huge vintage looking range. The bathroom has a rain faucet hanging above a carved shower tiled with smooth gray stones. And don't worry about cold feet, the floor is heated throughout the suite. The bedroom is plenty big for a comfortable stay and comes with a king size bed and wood burning stove. The room also has a set of doors that open onto a forest view terrace. It's a perfect place to take your morning coffee. Although the place is built for a couple, there's also plenty of entertaining space. The terrace has a barbecue and room for alfresco dining. The sitting room has a dining table and an ingle nook fireplace to curl up next to. The entire structure is hand sculpted and took thousands of man hours. They excavated over 70 tons of rock by hand. So it's fitting that the place is slightly heart shaped all over. And despite the expert craftsmanship and modern comforts, it's really affordable. You can stay at this little oasis for only 231 euros a night. It's a cozy spot to curl up and read up on your English vacation to Worcestershire, or a great option for a Flintstones-inspired honeymoon. Some might be excited to find out that prehistoric chic architecture isn't just for tourism and office spaces. The Chulo Canyon Cave House in Brisbee, Arizona is a luxury cave mansion. The property spans for 37 acres, and the house is nearly 3,000 square feet. Although the home has plenty of exposed stone and imperfect proportions, it isn't a naturally occurring space. A specialist blasted the yellow granite with steel rods supporting the ceiling. The house is a southwestern ranch style that's fitting to the area. The floors are lined with off-white and rust-red checkered tiles. The furnishings are stained wood with red accents, and the kitchen is decorated with mosaic tiles. But despite the sepia style, the house also features a modern kitchen with stainless steel appliances. There are modern comforts like walk-in closets and a game room. Other rooms within the home include two full bathrooms and a dining room surrounded by undulting stone. There's also a collection of outbuildings sprinkled throughout the property. These include a garage, a workshop, a library with a safe room underneath, a home office, a glass sunroom, and a 900 square foot guest house. One of the cool features of the house is that it has a self-regulating temperature. Its 5,300 foot elevation keeps it between 66 and 75 degrees year round. It's a huge savings in Arizona summer. There's also a natural seasonal spring that feeds ponds that are accessible by a path around the house. The house was sold for a whopping 1.5 million in 2012. Hey, at least they're saving money on Pico. Another private residence built into the earth is the stunning Balearic cave home in Menorca, Spain. This eccentric cave house is on the southwestern coast of Menorca in the Spanish Balearic Islands. The house is just shy of 800 square feet with two bedrooms and a modest toilet. It's carved out of natural formation and it's definitely a space for someone more interested in caves and comfort. In addition to the bedrooms, there's a kitchen, a lounge, and three terraces with views of the male Nordstrom. The view alone is enough to forget about the lack of fancy accommodations. The most notable feature of the home is the artwork throughout. There are stone sculptures covering every wall within the house. They're beautiful, if not a little intimidating. Pieces depicting people and nature. A large sculpture of a man blends into the archway above the curved double entry doors. Even the floor is stamped with Maristone carvings. 
It's certainly not the traditional house by the sea, but it is quirky and unique, and the view of the blue ocean is spectacular. By nature of the cave, the temperature is regulated year-round. The house is only 50 meters from the north shore of the beach. The property is landscaped with large green plants and colorful flowers, making it a peaceful and quiet escape. This special place is valued at just over 200,000 euros. If you're looking for a one-of-a-kind beach house, then this cave is for you. Calling all doomsday preppers, or just anyone looking to live in a cave in Utah, in Montezuma Canyon, on 12 acres of land, sits a 2100 square foot home carved out of a cliff. The house was constructed in 1986 with an existing opening in the caves, making it look like it sinks into the rock. Inside, the house has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a three-car garage. Most of the house has a homey, no-fuss look with light wood furniture and wooden beams across the ceiling. There's a large eat-in kitchen with granite countertops and an island. The sitting room has a wood-burning stove and built-in entertainment center. As you can guess, the cell service isn't great, but there's a phone line and Wi-Fi. Our apologies go to the poor Amazon driver that has to deliver their packages. One of the walls is decorated with a mural of the Anasazi tribe. Also known as the Pueblones, the Anasazi tribe were an ancient Native American tribe. They span what is now the Four Corners region of the U.S., including the southeastern Utah, where Montezuma Canyon is located. The entire house is full of Anasazi artifacts. The structure was built to be self-sufficient, with solar panels and two 2,000-gallon rainwater collection tanks. For emergencies, there's also a backup generator. There's also a mature orchard, vineyard, and garden. Technically, the only reason you'd have to leave is to be around other people. Another clever feature is a tunnel dug out behind the home to provide a natural air circulation and outlet for rainwater runoff. It also works as a fire escape. The house was put up for sale in 2017 in a closed bid auction. Do you like caves, roller skating, and concerts? If so, this Missouri cave house is your dream home. The cave house in Festus, Missouri started out as a mine. After that, it was owned by a man who used it to raise mushrooms and fishing worms. Then, in the 1950s, it was converted into a roller skating rink and a concert venue called Caveland. During its time in operation, icons like Tina Turner, Bob Seger, and Ted Nugent played shows there. Unfortunately, Caveland closed in 1985 and stayed unused until 2003, when the Sleeper family bought it off of eBay. True story, the family bought the property off of eBay and worked on the property for several years. They even spent four years in a tent next to the cave during construction. They were featured on TV in 2009, where they put the property for sale online due to potential foreclosure. The property is 17,000 square feet and contains three chambers. The first chamber is 2,200 square feet and takes up two floors. The upper floor has three bedrooms and a bathroom. The lower level is the kitchen entrance and living spaces. The second chamber has a laundry room, shower area, and the stairs leading up to the upper level. The third chamber is where the roller rink and concert venue used to be, but is now only used for storage. The design is sleek, and the front entrance looks like a modern home is growing out of the natural rock. Plenty of natural light shines through the entrance's picture windows. There are also beautiful sunset views through the mouths of the cave. The living area is an open floor plan. The kitchen is huge, with plenty of cabinets, updated appliances, and dark granite countertops. The living room is big enough for two large comfy sofas and an entertainment center. The bathroom has a large soaking tub surrounded by natural rock walls. Of course, it wouldn't be a cave home without plenty of natural rock formations across the ceilings and walls throughout the entire house. A few cool features of the property include an indoor natural groundwater spring pool, and similar to the other cave properties, the house needs no furnace or air conditioning. Geothermal and passive solar systems keep the house 70 degrees all year round. The latest estimate for the house on Zillow is $340,000. It's currently off the market, but keep your eyes peeled on eBay. For a truly unforgettable immersion into New Mexico culture, Cocopelli's Cave is a perfect getaway. The suite is built into the vertical cliffs of the 60 million year old Ojo Alamo sandstone. The cave is man-made and was originally attended as an office for the owner, Bruce Black. He's a consulting geologist who wanted a unique office, but when it didn't go according to plan, he converted it into a bed and breakfast. To construct the B&B, the house was hand-drilled and dynamite blasted. It's 1,700 square feet, with one bedroom and one bathroom. To get in the cave, you walk down a sloping path and steps cut into the sandstone. From inside and on the cliff tops, there's a stunning view of sunsets all over the Lapata River Valley and the Four Corners. Inside, the bedroom features a queen-size bed, wood furniture, a plush carpet, and sliding glass door that leads out to a porch with a view of the valley. 
There's also a second porch by the entrance with the same exact view. The bathroom includes a vanity, a waterfall shower, and a jacuzzi. The walls are natural stone, and the shower divider is made up of stacked sandstone. The living area is spacious, with two couches, two recliners, and an entertainment center with a big screen TV. The TV is actually mounted on the center pillar, and the walls are actually excavated all around. The kitchen has a breakfast bar, a large fridge, plenty of cabinets, and all utensils needed for cooking. This is also where the stacking washer and dryer are located. The most unique feature in the cave is the full-size replica of Akiva. It's a traditional Native American indoor fire pit. Because the cave is man-made, there's no dripping stalagmites. It's dry and stays between 65 and 68 degrees year-round. Cocopelli's cave is beautiful and the perfect spot for a man to get away. It's really affordable at $290 a night for one night and $340 for two or more. Just don't get your heart set on a Christmas vacation. Cocopelli's is closed for December through February due to weather. I think we've all seen photos of Santorini that feature white buildings with blue roofs by the ocean. It's a vacation spot that beach lovers dream about, but we think we found an even cooler dreamscape, the Lava Cave Suite. Lava Cave was originally constructed in 1875 as a sailor's domicile. The 484 square foot space was renovated into a suite with one bedroom and one bathroom. The cave is an authentic cyclotic setting in Ia, Greece. Cyclotic refers to the Bronze Age culture found throughout the islands of the Cyclades and the Aegean Sea. The lava suite follows that traditional design with arch passages and cave rooms. The suite is whitewashed like all the other houses built on the volcanic caldera. The cave is a genuinely unique space. Nearly every area is sculpted out of stone, but it's cut so perfectly and so smooth that it almost looks fake. The room offers a beautiful view of the Aegean Sea and surrounding community. The bedroom is all white stone with a curved ceiling. It includes a king-size bed and vanity table. The bathroom has a shower and vanity both carved out of the natural stone. There's also a hot tub that opens to the outside patio area. The blue water combined with the white walls looks like something straight out of Ice Age. The room also comes with a kitchenette, with a sink, a fridge, and two-seater table for dining. It's a private veranda that looks out onto the ocean with a place to sit and enjoy a glass of wine. Other amenities include air conditioning, satellite TV, and Wi-Fi. In many ways, it functions as a regular hotel with daily maid service, concierge, and breakfast. Possibly one of the best perks is a free welcome drink offered upon arrival. The price of the room varies according to when you plan to stay. The lowest rate is around $450 a night. But hey, it's worth any price to be able to say you slept in a luxury volcanic cave in Greece. There's a primitive, natural element that goes with being in caves. It takes us back to where the human race began and first found shelter. That's what makes these cave homes and hotels such a special experience. 